standard GFRC mix using number 30 sand, uh, Portland cement, VCAS, fibers, the whole nine yards, standard, standard mix. But this has a water cement ratio of 0.3 and it's going to be a little challenging to mix because I'm not using any super plasticizer in the beginning. I want to show you the effects of Alpha Pro fluidizer on this mix. I'm going to turn this challenging mix into something that's very pourable with a small amount of powder. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add all my sand. And to make sure I get a very dense mix, I'm going to add my Alpha Pro defoamer at a 0.1%. So that's what 0.1% looks like. The powder goes right into the sand. Next, I'm going to add my Poslin. You don't have to, but I like to add it in there. Now, this is when I would also normally add my super plasticizer. Um, it's most effective when it's blended right up front. You need to use less than if you do when you add it at the end. But I'm going to add it at the end so you can see the effects of it. So here are these dry ingredients, these small amount of dry ingredients. There's no color in here yet. I'm not going to put any color into it. I'm going to dry blend these. just so there's no clumps. It also helps to evenly disperse the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add all my water and my polymer right into there. and mix this. So if I had pigments in here, they would be already in there or I'd put them in now and disperse them and this would help ensure there's no clumps. Last step would be to add my cement. So this is just all my cement. I'm going to add it. I'm going to do it slowly. So a good rule of thumb is about half, up to half in the, in the beginning. Doesn't take long to mix. I'm going to add the remainder. Remember, there's no super plasticizer in here at all, and this is a fairly low water cement ratio. So it's going to look dry. It's going to be very difficult. You would never, ever work with this, uh, certainly not as GFRC. As you can see, it's dry and crumbly, um, barely holds together. Now, there's no fibers in here either. This is too dry to add your fibers to. So, I just wanted to show you what a very, very difficult mix is. Uh, this is so difficult you would never work with it. Um, but everything's thoroughly blended in here. I got a little sand in the bottom. So, and that's just because this is so dry, the material can't pour it down. We'll continue to mix this a little bit. And, uh, and then I'm going to show you adding the super plasticizer and, and how effective it is. So this is what I'm using. Alpha Pro Fluidizer, the most powerful super plasticizer on the market. And here I've got a small amount, pre-measured. Let's see what this does. Now, adding it at the end like this is the least efficient way of using it. 
I need to uh, mix for a while to get it fully dispersed and it's going to take a long time for it to start working. If I put it up front, as I mentioned before, it would be much more effective, it would work faster and I would need to use less to get the same effect. I still need to scrape the bucket. You can see, yeah, still some dry material in the corners. That has to get mixed in. Let's zoom in and see what's going on. Notice the surface, it's very bubbly. That's the effect of the, the defoamer. The bubbles that are on the surface are air that was inside the concrete and is escaping. So I went from a very, very dry mix that could barely hold itself together, that's something that is drippy and very cool. Now I haven't added my fibers yet and I would never put the fibers in first and then do what I just did. It's always best to get your concrete in the right consistency before you're adding your fibers. It's going to be a whole lot easier to mix. This is ready to go. Put my fibers in. to make a self-leveling, self-consolidating mix with minimal superplasticizer. In fact, there's a tiny bit of segregation here uh, on the surface. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And that's because I had to use a little bit more superplasticizer than I'd like to because I was adding it at the end, and I never do that, so I overestimated how much I needed. As you can see, it moves very nicely on its own. Let's go cast something. Okay, so I had to change venue. You can still see the mix. It's the same. And there it is. So it's just a little bit of jiggling, very, very little, completely self-leveling. And all these bubbles on the surface are good. You want to see that. That's air coming out of your mix, making it denser. It's not trapped in the mix where it's making your concrete foamy and light and weak. It's purging it. You can see the bubbles continually come out all on their own. That's the function of a good defoamer. And that only happens in very fluid concrete. So. I'm not getting bad segregation. You can still see fibers and the presence of sand. So this slightly wet layer is very, very thin. It's only on the surface, so it's nothing to worry about. That's 
Alpha Pro fluidizer with Alpha Pro defoamer in a pretty standard GFRC mix. Thank you.